I love you. What does this mean to you? And I've read, I was reading or listening to conversations with God and something really interesting made me think for whole morning, whole morning. I am still running in my thoughts. And, you know, Neil is talking about thought behind the thought behind the thought, which is the original raw thought that drives your experience, your energy, because we want to expand, we want to experience. And if we want to experience and expand, then the first thought can either be love or fear. Now, are you thinking from love and from fear? He said a really good sentence. I'm going to read that. He said, in the moment you pledge your highest love, you greet your greatest fear. Let me repeat that. In the moment you pledge your highest love, you greet your greatest fear. Now, what he was talking about, when we say, I love you, the most of us first think, you immediately think behind that is what are you going to hear back? And even deeper, going even deeper in that is, what was he talking about? Um, you, you immediately worry about that, even if you get that, it's a, oh, sorry, it's a repetition. So we re repeat the patterns of creating and destroying. So we love you and we destroy that. It's something that we habitually do because we don't place our love and, and belief in God. And if God created us in his own image or, or divine, whoever you believe, universe, why would they view us anything more, less important than magnificent? And love can only create love. And if you come from fear, that's where the doubt and worry start kicking in. So if you say someone, I love you, I appreciate you, I'm so, you know, you mean it. You don't expect anything back. You say that because you're in a state of vibration where you are grateful and we kick in gratitude. Not continuously requesting something from God and just being pleased when it happens. And, but actually be grateful and feel love all the time. I don't say I love you to people because I am expecting them to say the same back. And that's what creates also the ultimate result is always love. When you understand that, when you come from love and not from fear, then everything has to work the way you desire. And you know, it's like God, see yourself in God's eyes or divine source, universe's eyes. You're a perfect human being. You're magnificent. And if you knew who you really are, you wouldn't doubt yourself. And... You know, there was another sentence I really wanted to read um, in terms of when you say love and you then worry that you will lose it. Don't create any doubt and worry about it. If you love, just love and stay in the feeling of love. But this is the sentence. Um, so all the actions which I'm talking, when you create worry and doubt after you say I love you, all the actions becomes a reaction and defense against laws. Even as you seek to defend yourself against the law of God. And I thought that was so powerful. So say I love you, I appreciate you to people. Don't expect to hear anything back at all. Because you don't depend on this. You should be happy with who you are. Even if somebody has a, ha, else has a good opinion about you. Not just bad, even good. You, sh you shouldn't use it as your supply or fuel of going. It's appreciate it, welcome it, accept it, because obviously we are human beings, we do like to be appreciated, yet work towards you being happy with your decisions, with what you feel and not what others do. And I'll see you tomorrow.